Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve code forces problem beautiful year. Before we start looking into this problem details and the examples and solution, I want to mention that my channel is dedicated to help people in their Java J2 interviews and in their coding interviews. You will find lot of helpful videos on my channel uh, if you are preparing for uh, Java J2 interviews and coding interviews. You will find more than 200 solved coding examples which are taken from previously asked coding questions by Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, Google, Yahoo and many other big tech companies. Uh, so if you go through those examples that will definitely help you in your coding interview preparation. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to the channel now. So let's look into the beautiful year problem statement. It seems like the year of 2013 came only yesterday. Do you know a curious fact? The year 2013 is the first year after the old 1987 with only distinct digits. Now you are uh, suggested to solve the following problem. Given a year number, find minimum year number which is strictly larger than given one and has only distinct digits. So uh, in the input they have given us one year and we have to find out uh, one other year which is larger than this year and then it should have all the distinct digits right so it's pretty straightforward uh, like a description so as you can see 1987 all the digits are distinct here right 1987 so we have to find out the next distinct year which is 2013 right so uh, let's take this example on a whiteboard and we'll discuss how we can solve this problem um, so this one is already given to us right so 1987 is the input that is given to us and we are, have to find out next uh, you know next year like uh, which is greater than 1987 and ha has all distinct digits so now if you look at 1988 right 1988 then you will see that these are not all, all distinct years right because 8 is repeated here right similarly if you look at 1989 right then you will see that 9 is repeated right then if you go looking like this if you go increasing if you go 1999 1990 right so 9 is repeated here if you go 1991 then always you will see 9 is repeated here right so uh, we have to find out the next year which is non repeated right so if we keep going then you will find a year 2013 which is non repeated right now 2013 all are distinct years right so we have to return that as our answer basically right so uh, this is what the problem is so let's look into now the how we are going to solve this problem i'll just remove this coloring so we can reuse this so what we will do is we will just first take this year which is given to us and we will just convert it into a string right so we will get this string basically from int right because year is always like four digits uh, integer that is given to us so we will convert it into string after that so uh, we have two uh, ways to solve this problem uh, at least two ways so let's discuss those two ways so this is the first way so after that what we will do is we will uh, loop two for loops right we will have two for loops basically so what two for loops will do is one for loop it will go from it will take um, uh, like a zeroth digit let's say for example zeroth digit right so i'll just write down here so let's say it is 1987 right so it will take zeroth digit basically and then we will compare all other digits in the next for loop these remaining digits we will compare if anything is equal to one uh, so sorry so we actually what we will do is we will start with 1988 right because 1987 is given to us so we have to start with 1988 right so uh, in the two for loops for first for loop will read this character first character and we will compare all these remaining characters if they are equal then we will just uh, have to go to the next year right 1989 like that then uh, after that we will uh, so one is not equal to any anything here now right so now after that we will take the second digit now we will take this second digit we will compare with remaining so nine is also not equal to any of this eight right so after that we will take this eight and we will compare with other remaining digits right other remaining digits so eight is equal to eight so we have to return false basically right so it is not a beautiful year because uh, eight is not distinct right so we have to go next one like this 1989 we have to take right 
so 1989 again uh, our for loop will run uh, so one and it will compare these all three right so uh, there is no one so next time it will take nine and it will compare the remaining eight and nine so nine is repeated so it will return false so similarly when we reach 2013 right 2013 we will take two and we will compare 013 so uh, all are distinct right so after that we will take 0 and we will compare with 1 3 so all are distinct then we will take 1 we will compare with 3 all are distinct right so it means that 2013 all have distinct digits basically right so we will just return that as our answer basically right so this is one way to solve the problem using two for loops right and just we will convert it uh, to string the integer here and then we will read character by character in this for loop right the first character then second character then third character and we will compare with remaining characters so now uh, we have another approach of solving this problem again we will convert this 1987 integer into string right so we have converted into string and we will uh, means we will go with the from the next year basically right the next year we will consider because we have to find out the next year right which is more than 1987 so we will take 1988 so in this approach what we will do is we will use a set here right set so we will read each character and we will put it into a set right so one we put it into set so before putting it into the set we will check if set has that character right so 9 we will uh, put it into set because 9 is not there in the set then 8 we will put it into the set because 8 is not there into the set and then 8 right so once we uh, are comparing 8 8 is already there into this set right so we will return false so 88 cannot be a beautiful year right so now we will have to go next one 1989 like this 1990 like this and we will again uh, use the same logic of uh, putting those um, characters into set right so once we reach 2013 right 2013 then we will again have a set right so we will read 2 2 is not there in the set we will put 2 here we will read 0 0 is not there into the set we will put 0 here right then 1 1 is not there into the set we will put 1 here and 3 3 is not there into the set we will put 3 here and now uh, our whole string is already exhausted right and we did not find any duplicate character so we will just return this year as the beautiful year next beautiful year right 2013 so these are the two approaches to solve this problem so let's look uh, the java implementation for both so this first one is the one that will use for loops right two for loops so input is given to us as an integer we will just increment it by one and then we will just run a while loop right and uh, we have uh, implemented a check function right so in check function we will pass our next this year right and we will first convert that year into a string using integer dot to string right so um, we will get a string and we will just root loop uh, two for loops i will go from zero to the length of the string right zero to n and j will also go j will go from i plus one right because next character we will compare basically from next character we will compare right um, and then for example if i is 0 in case of uh, then uh, in case of any year if i is 0 then j will be 1 2 3 right because the remaining 3 are th uh, remaining 3 digits we will compare right and whenever if we find anything duplicate then we will just return false right if the character at 0 means ith position is equal to jth position then we will this is a duplicate character so we will return false otherwise we will return true so we will keep checking in the while loop when we find the next uh, beautiful year we will just return that uh, next beautiful year right so so whenever it comes to uh, true then it will just print that actually so let's just go ahead and execute this code so this is giving us correct answer 2013 as you can see it is given here 2013 so this is one approach that we discussed which is using two for loops right these are two for loops and we'll just check uh, using two for loops now another approach is with set right so this is similar implementation we just uh, we are just changing this check method implementation right now here instead of two for loops we will just create one set basically right this is set of characters we will create and then we will just 
uh, first check if that character ith character that we are reading if it is already into the set right then we will just return false if it is not into the set we will add it into the set right the character right zero character first character second character right if we find it uh, in the set it means that it's duplicate we will return false if we exhaust looking into all the characters in that case we will return true so we just uh, change the check method implementation using the set set is a little uh, cleaner than the two for loops i think so um, let's just execute this code with the same input and make sure it works so this is also giving us correct answer 2013 let's take another uh, example that uh, they have yeah 2013 if you put then 2014 it should give us so let's just take a uh, take this one as an input so we are getting correct output here and for this program also let's just update our input to 2013 this is also giving us correct output 2014 so this is the way these are the two approaches uh, we can solve this beautiful year problem on code forces um, uh, if you are new to my channel uh, on my channel there is a playlist called as code forces which has a lot of solved problems on code forces explained with examples and java code you can go through that playlist there is another big playlist on my channel called as lead code and lint code solutions it has a lot of lead code and lint code solve problems um, all kind of like medium hard um, difficulty levels are there and those problems are taken from previously asked coding interview questions by google facebook apple amazon microsoft yahoo and many other big tech companies so if you are preparing for coding interview you can go through this two playlist and it will give you uh, like a lot of varieties of problems that will help you in your uh, interview preparation if you are simply preparing for telephonic or initial screening rounds of java interview there is another playlist on my channel called as java interview uh, that discusses frequently asked telephonic java interview questions and how to answer those questions is also discussed it also discusses um, java api uh, related questions java string related architectural related questions as well um, if you like this video if you find it helpful and if you like the way it's been created with whiteboarding sessions and examples then please give it a like uh, also subscribe to this channel your subscription to the channel is really important for us because that is the way the videos can reach to more people who need help in solving coding problems they can watch these videos of solve coding problems and understand how to approach different varieties of coding problems uh, how to build the logic to solve them and what data structures are uh, you know applicable and can be applied to solve different varieties of coding problems uh, the goal of the channel is to help as many people as possible in their java interviews as well as coding interviews so uh, if you like this video please give it a like if you have any questions please put your questions below the description and uh, share this video with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video